All right, sad just so I got welcome back to a brand new video, man. We got Tommy Yo Yeet with the vandalized Lambo in this bitch. I seen this shit on uh, like Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Like I saw the video, of, you know, them going up and fucking doing the thing. But that's hard as shit that bro made it the the uh the uh the like this the cover for the song and shit. They got they got Balenciaga over there too. Um. Uh, yeah, bro, bro had to have some sort of designer in the fucking bag, some sort of designer store. <laughs> Simple as that, but yeah, we're about to jump straight into it. If you guys do enjoy the video, sign the reaction, you all know what to do. Go follow the Kick Machine Weekly on that and on Twitch, sign the Tennis Slip Weekly. All links down in the description to my socials. Let's jump straight into it. Job is gymnasium. You a baby, rock star lifestyle. Nobody can save me. Nobody can save me. Bro, like man. Yeah, I mean it really is probably the rock star lifestyle to be doing like drugs and this and that. Cause I mean, you know, rappers been calling themselves rock stars for a fucking many. I mean I don't mean this in the wrong way, but I guess I guess rightfully so, because they live a fucking similar lifestyle to what the rock stars fucking lived back whenever they were, you know, whenever rock and shit was was going fucking. Cra I'm not saying it doesn't go crazy, man, because I like me some rock too. But um, yeah, fuck yeah, lifestyle. Uh, uh, Rockstar lifestyle. Rockstar lifestyle. Nobody can save me. Nobody can save me. You can't play me. Like half of like probably like y'all's parents. I don't know who. Like if if you were around my age, half of like y'all's parents probably listen to like like half of the artists they listen to like fucking did heroin and shit you know what i mean you know, like that's that, that was part of the culture for for like a fucking say i don't agree with it i don't agree with heroin i ain't ever doing heroin not fucking volunteering that shit um but yeah bro it's like it's like back then all these artists were like heavily on drugs and that's the rock star lifestyle Nobody can save me, and I'm way too rich. You can't play me. You play me. You definitely can't get in. We tell you maybe. Damn. I'm an asshole. I know that's why you hate me. Diamonds on me, crisscross, X, I crazy. I just spend another mill on boats like the Navy. I just spend another mill on boats like the Navy. Bitch, it pull up by and turns and get crazy. Hundred bands on another purse, I go breeze. Hundred bands on another purse, bro. Bought himself a purse. Yeah, they turn me up, turn me up like a song. Yeah, she fell in love with the guy. Oh my god, a dog. Oh, hold on, I like that boy. Hold right on. Yeah, like a song. Like a song. Yeah, she fell in love with the guy. Oh my god, a dog. Bought some cuts and we get you out strong. Life for your back, I was doing it all along. Life for your back, I was doing it all along. <laughs> Drugs all night on my thin ice. Yeah. But like on some real shit, like like I Yeah, I mean Joe Rogan said it best, I think. Like well, I mean I got this from his from from Joe Rogan watching like his podcast and shit, but he pointed out like how like all these artists and shit 
in the past, like when they made like all this great music and it was off the influence of drugs. I'm not supporting, but probably wouldn't have got that type of music if they weren't using it, so. But it's fucking terrible for you. Don't do drugs, kids. It's hard as fuck. I like this shit. This shit was cool. Yeah, this shit was cool. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Fuck y'all did enjoy, it, man. Guys, with you guys, when I put anything in life you can handle. Y'all take care. Video.